Hi, everyone, and welcome to June's edition of CT Tech Talks. This month, we are bringing on our Midwest region. We have Raphael and Brian Green with us. Hi, Brian. Hi, Raph. How are you guys doing? Okay. Good. Good. So just uh, first of all, you know, myself and Brian really cover the greater Midwest, right? So anything over from, uh, let's say, almost the Dakotas, right? Nebraska, all the way down to uh, Missouri, uh, Kentucky, Illinois, Wisconsin, Ohio, Michigan um, is really our territory. So um, that's kind of what we cover and what we focus on. Um, you know, all of the partners that they are there, whether they're TSDs and or direct agents, we definitely work with everyone. So, um, but, you know, just talking about a little bit what we've seen already for the first half of this year, uh, it's really been, you know, typical teams, right? <laughs> is what it is. Teams is really the leading product, but we've seen a huge uh, uptick in Cisco WebEx. So that is the other uh, solution that we've been talking a lot about. Um, you know, Zoom coming in there third, right, for us, at least here in the Midwest, but also contact center. I mean, various contact centers. It's not really just one flavor. It's it's what we've seen is, is really uh, different customers, dis different sizes, different needs, really uh, and then coming up with a solution that works for them. So that that's what I've seen with and some of the deals I've been working. But um, Brian, how about you? Yeah, I would I would say um, Teams is always front and center. We were always talking Microsoft Teams. I feel like, but uh, uh, you know, big push with folks moving from an on-prem Cisco call manager and looking to find a, a new home, whether that be Cisco WebEx um, or, or Teams. I, I see a lot of times that. Uh, people coming from the Cisco on-prem, uh, they'll do a, um, a deep dive into both Teams or Cisco WebEx and, and make a decision. Um, mm -hmm. We're also seeing a lot of activity with uh, some of the recent activity out there like the NEC uh, systems uh, mm -hmm. being decommissioned uh, and, and going end of life here uh, in the upcoming uh, end of the year. So uh, seeing a lot of people there getting ahead of that, um, getting off those on-prem systems and, and looking to go to cloud and getting ahead of the curve too. So they, uh, a lot, uh, we've seen, um, you know, our customer size increase over time as well. And so when you get into these larger enterprise customers, uh, when they have some of those uh, on-prem phone systems, they wanna be very strategic about how they're moving um, to the cloud. So it's not just a rip and replace, you know, uh, in 45 or 60 days, it's take your time and do we go location by location, department by department. So uh, especially with that NEC uh, um, decommissioning, we're seeing folks get ahead and start to strategize and um, onboard to either Teams or Cisco or, or CT Cloud. Um, so that's what, that's what I'm seeing. And do you think that AI is playing any factor at all um, with um, decision-making when it comes to, I know Microsoft Copilot um, that's an additional licensing fee, whereas WebEx it's not. Um, do you think AI is playing in to any decisions being made right now around uh, organizations? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, <clears throat> that's coming up quite a bit. AI integrations, um, you know, um, data analytics, uh, mm -hmm. all of it. So, but yes, AI is definitely a big part. I think right now, with majority of the customers out there that we're seeing is a lot of people want to know about it. How's it going to benefit yeah. your company, right? How does it work um, and everything else? So yeah, there's been a lot of those conversations. I know we've had some some amazing webinars here at Call Tower when we're talking about uh, Microsoft Copilot, and we've had the biggest turnouts ever in history yeah. to our webinars because of it. So yeah, AI is definitely a big part, but you know, it's, it's starting for sure is what we're seeing. When you guys are chatting with partners, you know, what what verticals um, are they bringing you um, customer wise? What verticals are you guys really seeing um, some specific customization tools that Call Tower can do work for organizations out there? I'm seeing a lot in the uh, healthcare and legal space uh, right now. Um, uh, you know, lots of uh, law firms are. Um, I believe law firms were maybe slow to adopt to go to teams. Uh, you know, they they were holding on tight to those on-prem phone systems. And now they're uh, starting to see the advantages of Microsoft Teams and simplifying the technology stack. Um, you know, if they're using Teams today for inter-office communication, chat, uh, hosting meetings, um, and now the, the next uh, logical progression is to use Microsoft Teams. So I'm, I'm seeing a lot of uh, 
folks uh, in the legal space look at Microsoft Teams. Um, in the healthcare space, I feel like that's driven a lot by contact center, right? And and uh, uh, so there's big push in the healthcare space around uh, contact center, which then a lot of times if they're looking at, uh, you know, improving uh, their internal processes, their communication, uh, maybe even using virtual assistants, um, integrating into some sort of uh, uh, ERP CRM platform. Um, that's what's driving those contact center shifts, and then the and then we just couple it with uh, with Microsoft Teams for the UC site. So that's what I'm seeing. Yeah, those two are definitely the to top of mind for myself, but I was going to add a third one, and that's really counties, right? Municipalities, I think, because of the uh, the rates that they get for their Microsoft licensing and that uh, they're utilizing. So we've had some really good wins with counties. So um, that's been out there. But you know, like Brian said, legal's been a, a a big one too. You know, I know I think a lot of us think that uh, in the legal world they probably use Zoom, and they do. You know, if they're talking to a client or something. But like for inner office, um, dealing with other law firms and things like that, they are using Microsoft Teams. Healthcare, as Brian said it best. I mean, it's yeah, it's you know whether it's a shared device for the nursing station, things like that. I mean, utilizing their Office 365 is what they're is what they're doing. Um, and contact center whatever flavor contact center you know fits their needs on top of any of those platforms benefits it but that's what we're seeing uh quite a bit a lot of big wins there yeah and i and, and that's where and I, I i think william rubio said it best on on uh, a webinar last year but it's um it, even within an organization there's different personas right and everyone uh you know likes to you know there might be folks in the organization that really like teams right um, there might be retail environments where uh, you're not tied to Cisco WebEx or you're not tied to Microsoft Teams, but you need phones out there to make and receive calls. Um, we see a lot in um, uh, large Fortune 500 companies or in the uh, uh, university space where folks will need um, blue light phones, uh, uh, you know, for emergency purposes. And so um, there's a there's a there's it's very uh, unique. Organizations are very unique. And so your, your, your corporate environment might be very heavy into Microsoft Teams. And so you might want to make a big shift to moving to Microsoft Teams. But then you've got to factor in that Microsoft does not do those blue light phones. They um, also there might be a lot of analog phones that are sitting in a warehouse uh, we see that a lot uh, with big retail environments where they have distribution centers, maybe on the East Coast, the West Coast, even overseas. Um, and those folks aren't tied to Microsoft. Um, they're uh, they're just looking for a phone placed on a wall, you know, to 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 make a 911 call, maybe a four digit extension dial back to the corporate office to ask some questions. And so that's where we really uh, shine because we have that CT cloud platform. We can trunk to analog devices. We can trunk to SIP devices. We can, um, we, you know, we can we can leverage that meta switch to really round out that solution and give the client best of breed technology. And that's what we did in in a couple of our key uh, uh, retail wins last year at the end of last year. So it was very successful. Yeah, and to add to what Brian said, not only do we customize uh, solutions, right, where we could take a Cisco WebEx. Teams, Zoom, and our CT Cloud Voice, and marry platforms together via extension dialing, right? Depending on what the user is. Are you in a warehouse? You just need an open source set phone, but the front office is using Teams, right? Um, you have customers who have multiple locations, 50, 100 locations. So it's then customizing the implementation side of it, right? How do you want to implement this? How do you want to roll this out? Is it site by site? Uh, is it rip the bandaid off, do them all at one, which is very, very rare that anybody does that. Um, it's that migration path uh, to the ultimate solution and being able to provide even just SIP trunks to prem based systems and then let the customer do a slow migration to whether it's Teams, WebEx, Zoom or our CT Cloud Voice. So again, just always customizing is a big thing here at Call Tower that we do from a solution standpoint as well as an implementation standpoint.
Absolutely. And to wrap things up, what are you guys hoping for the rest of the, the year for your region? What are you guys expecting? So first, you know, what we're seeing, uh, I think, just because based on registrations and things that are coming out, I feel that contact center is definitely a, a bigger player here, right? Um, I don't care if you have 10 people in your office or if you've got, you know, 10,000 people. So that's one thing that we're seeing um, for sure. I think also because of the pandemic, a lot of people jumped into other UCAS solutions. And I won't say the names but <laughs> we all know who they are and now they're looking at it and going why do i have this solution when i can utilize uh either teams or zoom right or webex maybe they have some some uh some Cisco phones, right, that they want to reuse that want uh, run a want to reuse on a uh, WebEx platform. They want to use Teams because they use Teams for chat collaboration presence. You know, they fall into the Zoom world because they use a lot of it for video conferencing. So uh, but, you know, now that people are the dust is settled from COVID, people are really evaluating their communication needs and how it works in their environment and looking at why did I buy that UCAS platform when I can utilize one of the Teams or Zoom, for example, um, because that's what we're living in today. So that's what I see. It's continuing that conversation, but we are displacing probably just as many cloud systems today as we are prem base. Well, uh, Raf took the words right out of my mouth, so that's uh, that's good. I was going to touch on the fact that we're seeing a lot of cloud to cloud uh, migrations, which is uh, uh, very unique. Um, just with uh, the the dust of COVID, uh, you know, settling from a few years back, you're seeing a lot of folks. Uh, you know, say, hey, you know, it's time to time to just get into that technology stack that we spend a lot of time in, whether it be Cisco or, or Microsoft. So, Raf, you said it best. So I'm going to leave it at that. 